are having a military conflict on our continent and this is something that profoundly changes how European citizens perceive a CSDP and perceive the European Union as a security provider. Uh, and this is linked to what extent is Europe able to defend itself and is able to help Ukraine. Um, and of course, uh, there is an awareness that European Union has to develop certain instruments uh, related to hard security in order to be able to defend itself and to somehow support Ukrainians in the conflict. And um, I would say that the member states are very much aware that there should be a very close cooperation between NATO and between the European Union on these issues. If we think about the implications of Russia's war in Ukraine, on domestic support for CSDP operations. We've done some research on one of these actors, national parliaments, and what we found out that there hasn't really been a huge rupture after, um, after Ukraine, but we found that um, over the, the preceding six years, so between um, 2016 and 2021, there has been a very consistent um, support among national parliamentarians in the mainstream, but also to some extent um, in the fringes of the political spectrum for CSDP operations. Um, and so there is a certain continuity when it comes to domestic support.